Hello everyone and welcome back. In the previous session, we learned about two different instruction types of the data transfer instruction group. In this session, we are going to learn about the instruction types LHLDA16 and SHLDA16. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the topics that we are going to cover in this session. Today, at first we will learn about the instruction type LHLDA16. Thereafter, we will learn about the instruction type SHLDA16. So let's begin with the first instruction type, that is LHLDA16. Now coming to the instruction type LHLDA16, I need you to focus on the mnemonic LHLD. It stands for Load HL Pair Using Direct Addressing from Memory Location. So clearly, we are talking about loading the HL register pair from a location within the memory. Let's now decode the instruction LHLD. And thereafter, we have got A16. Now, what is this A16? If you remember, we already have seen what A16 means when we were learning about the instructions LDA A16 and STA A16. So here also, A16 means the address of 16 bits which will refer to any of the memory locations of the memory. Now notice, within the instruction itself, we are providing the address of 16 bits. And that's why it is called direct addressing or the absolute addressing. I hope you remember this from our study of addressing modes. When we mention the address part within the instruction itself, we are providing the absolute or actual address via the instruction itself. Now, let me tell you in which category, size wise, this particular instruction type will fall into. Notice, for the mnemonic LHLD, 8 bit will be specified, and we are also specifying a 16 bit address. Therefore, this instruction cumulatively will fall under the category of 3 byte long instructions. Now, let me show you how this instruction is going to work. We are going to take the instruction LHLD F820. Now, before we execute this instruction, Notice something. We are talking about loading the HL register pair, that is, two registers of 8 bits, right? Now, within the memory also, each of the memory locations can store 8 bits only. Therefore, when we will load the register pair HL, we are actually talking about two memory locations which are consecutive. So, we can state this instruction type involves two consecutive memory locations. Confused? Let me show you how it will work. Thereafter, you will realize why I am mentioning this. Now, say within the memory location F820, we have got the value 34. And in the consecutive memory location F821, we have got the value 12. Now, if the instruction LHLD F820H is executed, since within the instruction itself, we are sending the address, that is the first address of the first location. Executing this instruction, the microprocessor will directly point to that particular memory location. At first, 3, 4 will be loaded into the L of the HL pair. And thereafter, the next memory location will be pointed. And from that memory location, the value within it, 1, 2, will be loaded in the H register of the HL register pair. Now, I hope it is clear to you why I mentioned that this type of instructions involve two consecutive memory locations. We are talking about loading two registers of 8 bits each. And within the memory, we also have the memory locations which can store 8 bits. So, when we are mentioning the address F820, this is the first address in the memory location, the data from which will at first be loaded into the extension that is the lower order part of the register pair. And the content of the consecutive memory location, that is 1, 2 in this case, is going to be loaded into the higher order or the H part of the HL register pair. 
So that's all about the LHLD A16. Remember, LHLD stands for Load HL Register Pair using direct addressing. And the reason for that is we are mentioning the address or we can say the first address of the memory location within the instruction itself. And the execution of this instruction is going to involve two consecutive memory spaces from which the first memory location's content will be loaded into the extension that is the L of the HL pair and the content of the next memory location or we can say the consecutive memory location is going to be loaded within the H register of the HL register pair. Another thing to remember is this instruction is of 3 byte long category. Now notice, we don't have the instruction type in 8085 microprocessor as LBCD or LDED. And the reason behind that is, if you remember, previously when we studied about the HL register pair, I told you this is the most important register pair which can also be addressed in different kind of ways. And at multiple instances, we already have seen that using the alphabet M, we can also refer to the HL register pair's content, haven't we? So that was all about the instruction type LHLDA16. Let's now learn about the next instruction type, SHLDA16. Now coming to the instruction type SHLDA16, here the mnemonic SHLD stands for Store HL pair using direct addressing in memory location. Clearly, it is the opposite of the previous instruction type. In this instruction, we are also talking about the HL register pair and the content of the HL register pair is going to be stored within the memory. Now, just like the previous one, SHLD A16, here also we are sending the address of 16 bits and that's why we are naming it as direct addressing mode or in other words, the absolute addressing mode. Now size wise, this instruction will also fall into the category of 3 byte long instructions and the reason for that is quite similar to the previous one. Here for SHLD, we will have 8 bits and A16 will occupy 16 bits, so clearly 3 bytes. Also, this will involve two consecutive memory locations within the memory. And let me show you how. Say within the HL register pair, we have got the value AB and CD. Now executing the instruction SHLDF820, since we are sending the address within the instruction itself, the microprocessor will know that we are talking about the memory location F820 and the consecutive memory location F821 as well. Now notice, this time we are about to store the HL register pair's content. And here, at the first location, F820, the contents within the L register, that is CD, will be loaded at first. And once this is done, thereafter the consecutive memory location, F821, will be pointed. And the content of the H register, that is AB in this case, will be loaded into that particular memory location. So clearly, as we are storing the contents of the HL register pair, that is 16 bits altogether, therefore, two consecutive memory spaces are used for the purpose of storing. So that's all about the instruction type SHLDA16. Remember, this instruction falls under the category of 3 byte long instructions and it uses absolute or direct addressing mode. And similar to the previous instruction type, that is LHLD, in case of SHLD, we also don't have instructions like SBCD or SDED. This instruction also is only specific to HL pair. With this, we have completed all the data transfer instructions, that is, we have covered all the 13 types, and we actually have covered the 83 opcodes that I told you previously. And I'll prove that to you in the next session when we will summarize all the data transfer instructions. So in this session, we cover the topics, instruction type LHLDA16 and the instruction type 
SHLDA16. Remember, both of them refer to the HL register pair. One is used for loading, another one is used for storing the content of the HL register pair into the memory locations, which will be specified within the instruction itself via this A16. All right, people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we will learn about the summary of the data transfer group of instructions, or in other words, we will summarize all the instruction types that we have seen so far. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.